Hello, welcome to this tutorial on Modus Dimba and today I'm going to show you how you can set up or customize the object levels level setting in Tecla structures. Object level setting Tecla structure is just a representation of your drawing. Maybe you want in this model, maybe you've generated a plan view or rooftop plan of this particular model. Let me just show you this. And maybe you want these palings to be represented not as just uh, not as the way that they look here, but represented in just uh, by lines and maybe half the profile that shows that this is a paling. And also the beam also be just shown as a line instead of the whole uh, beam profile or a beam uh, outline on your drawing. So that is all about the object level setting. So this is what we want to, to generate the, uh, the roof plan view from and we we set up or customize our the look of our drawing or the how we can represent our drawing uh, under object level setting so let me just double click on of one of these on one of these member if i double click on this particular uh, palin you can see it's palin and this is the profile and uh, we, the prefix is that under part and the assembly is that so we'll use this name and a part, this, this is a paling, and uh, I have labeled them like that. So if I come to rafter here, I double click on the rafter here, you'll be able to see this is rafter, and this is the, the profile itself, and the part is represented as a PR and assembly also as a PR. Then if I close that, if I go back to a different member, like on this mezzanine floor, if I double click here, you'll be able to see I have this as a secondary beam, and this is there. The profile itself and this has been abbreviated under part as sp and sb like that now once we generate the drawing from here and we don't want to represent or, or i mean all the whole profile of this particular beam to be seen on the drawing maybe we want just a line that passes across and a small profile of of, of a secondary beam to be indicated maybe in the middle now it's all about how you want to customize your drawing now we want to apply the object level setting or we want to customize the object level setting on our drawing. So we'll switch back to the, the, the drawing list because I've, I, had already, I had already generated the drawings and we, are, we can we'll just go ahead and click uh, or open it here by double clicking here and give it some time to open up. Now here is our drawing and it's already open. It's now open and we can now zoom in zoom out but uh, currently it's not fully loaded so we'll just give some little bit of time to load it it's all depend on the speed of your system now let me just zoom out zoom in and like you can see we have the palings that runs across these ones here these are the palings so these are the palings so maybe you don't like the representation of the palings the way they, they look here and maybe you just need a line that uh, that trans are you just need a representation of a line. I mean, the paling are the palings are represented by just mere lines, and also the beams also like that. So this can be done, or this can be done under object level setting. So how do you set up, or how do we how do we customize that so that our drawings have our own uh, customized look or representation for for ourselves or done by us. So let me just zoom it close. And just bring it to our view. So heavy, that's why you see it somehow jumpy jumpy. So if I bring it close and I double click on this particular frame, the boundary of, of my of my of my of of my drawing. So I'll double click right there. So the moment you say double click right there, I'll be able to get uh the view properties from this and these are the view properties of our drawing. Now from here, we select, we have categories here, we have categories under view, we have the attributes, neighbor, path, filter, and we have mark, mark, marks, we have path number, path mark, bolt mark, neighbor, path mark, all this. So we have under objects, we have all this. So we are going to filter out whatever you want to represent it in a different way. So we are going to select on, we are, we are going to check the filter right there. So the moment we check on the filter, we come under 
under the dream, uh, dream, uh, under view properties on this section where I'm mousing over, then click add draw. So the moment we add draw, we want to filter out the parts that we want to be represented in a different way from the others. Now we want to represent our palettes in a different way so that also we reduce uh, uh, the, the lagging of the drawing when you try to uh, zoom in, zoom out. That's also the beauty of uh, setting up the object level setting. So now, and also if you print it out, it also have a nice way of, of, of representation of your drawing the way you want it to be. Now I'll go ahead and click add row. So in the row here, I've added uh, another one. So let me just select one and delete, delete, delete row, delete row. So let me get this one. So I want to assign uh, the parts of my of my drawing in here, the parts that I want to be filtered out or to be represented in a different way. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to I'm going to click here under conditions and pick on and give and and uh, give it uh, contains right there. So in on the value here, I'm going to describe or just write the name of the palins here. So I'm going to type palins. Just type palin. So under palin, I'm going to feed in here and uh, the same same name. So I'm going to feed in palin or palin filter like, like that, just type palin filter like that. So the moment I do that, just type palin filter, then go ahead and click save. I'll click on that, but remember not to modify. You only modify the moment you get into or the moment you get to object level setting. And now we'll go to maybe the roof braces. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one. I'm going to add another row here. So this one will be will be roof braces. We just type roof roof brace right like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add here. I'm going to add here roof roof brace. Maybe I can add underscore there and maybe to just type filter, roof brace filter. I want them to be represented in a different way. Uh, then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click save. So note down that we've filtered out palings and roof brace. Roof brace, roof brace means just the, the uh, braces that maintains thereafter into their positions just to reinforce thereafters. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going now to part section. Now under part section, I'm going to check on the parts here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to object section and click on the parts. Well, the moment I check on that, I'll be able to come under parts here and I want uh, my the, the filtered parts that have uh, are filtered out, I want to give them a different representations. Now under the content, if you click on this drop down list here and click here, you, you'll find many ways on how you can represent your drawing. So the default one is outline, then exact, then symbol, then symbol with a partial profile. That's maybe just a line. Then the profile comes in the middle, but in a smaller section. So we'll pick on that part, on that particular one. So on the appearance, we can give it a different color. Uh, apart from the default yellow. So we can give it black like that, but the field you can just leave it. Then uh, once you've done that, we'll come here and uh, give it, maybe we 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 had the paling, paling filter right, like that. What we're going to do, we're going to sign it or leave it at just a, a black or just give it, uh, leave it at black right there and click save, click save. Then come back to content here. We'll give some time, then come back to content. Now under content, we'll come back here and click a symbol with partial profile. So I'm going to select here and feed in roof, roof brace, like that, and then underscore uh, filter, 
filter and how do I want that to be represented maybe I, wa I want just to maintain it at blah as the initial one I can just maintain it like that then I'll go ahead and click save so I'll give me some time to save so if I click on this drop down list I'll be able to see what I have I have the roof brace filter and I have palin filter so once I have that and now I want to switch back to the object level setting and to access the object level setting from here just go ahead to just go to view properties here and select on that so you'll be able to set you'll be able to reach out to object object level setting here object level setting is what I'm talking about use detailed object level setting so make sure you check this is always checked now I'll come to edit settings now I under edit settings I'm going to select on that so in inside here I'm going to now track down my filters uh, th this was the palin filter and the roof brace filter now i'm going to add row here and come here and search for it here i'll pick on the i'll pick on the palin filter right there and come on this section here and also pick on the palin filter so i'm going to add another row here i'll come here and select on the roof brace and pick here on the roof brace here so what i'm going to do once i've done that i'm going to just go ahead and click modify and give some time to load everything now i think it is this done and just go ahead and click apply and give it an okay and now we can go ahead and click okay here so if we switch back to our drawing here if i, if I zoom out and come in here You'll be able that you you'll be able to see that our palings are now represented as lines, as lines, and a small profile of palings is as the mid is at the middle here. So that's how you can customize your you can customize the object level setting tecla structures, and I would like you to try that by yourself. And uh, if you find any difficulty, always comment, uh, reach out to me. Reach out to me by commenting right at the bottom end there, and I'll be able to give you a, a direction on how you can manage that. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you need more advanced trainings, uh, you can also go to Udemy and just type Morris Dimba, and you'll be able to reach out to the courses available for uh, trainings on Tecla structures. Please, once again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye. Let's meet then.